Hi everybody, this is Belitis Frost Die from JTJ2. This is a review of our war against WHF Power Bang fought May 8th to the 10th, 2018. As you can see, we won 112 to 110. But honestly, the story in this war was participation and teamwork. As you can see, Power Bang only used 67 of 80 attacks, whereas JTJ used every single attack, 80 of 80. We won this war with teamwork. We had a whole war flow and plan laid out. We were communicating over Discord. Our lowest bases scouted the top bases. Our Town Hall 10s were hitting up for 2s. Our Town Hall 11s were hitting down for 3s. We really worked well together as a team. Power Bang, I'm not in a position to lecture you, but I will say that the takeaway for you from this war is to be stricter with those who don't use their attacks. I don't care how good you are, you can't win wars if you don't use your attacks. And it's not fair to those who do use their attacks and take the time to, to plan and attack well. And we're going to take a look at some of those attacks right now. I'm going to start with the one on me. Yogi had a really just a beautiful attack and, and I just got wrecked here. Starting with a queen walk in the upper left hand side. I spent some time on this base and, and it's, it's never a good feeling when, when you watch someone wreck your base for a three in your Town Hall 11. So he does a really nice job here clearing out the left hand side and then he's going to come in with a nice bowler dive in a moment here from the upper right. Uh, he did drop a level 7 golem which was new to me. Normally I see just a big cluster of, of bowlers go in there. And the jump goes down. He's got a few witches there, which, which help to clear the side and, and keep the bowlers funneled. And once he gets in, drops the rage, and he just blows out the center of this base. Spoke with another senior guy in my clan about this attack who referred this base to me. It's Genghis. He was also in this war. And he said it was because my walls are too weak. And uh, the bowlers and his troops just just cut right through those those um, yellow dotted walls. I f forgot what level they are, but whatever level they are, they, they weren't enough to hold back his sea of bowlers here with that golem. And I'm going to speed it up here so you can see that he just ends up uh, uh, wrecking me. So, Yogi, I have to say that was a very nice attack. Thanks for the lesson. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this one a try myself and add that golem to my bowler dive and see how things go here. Okay, so that was 100%. Let's go back to the map. Okay, let's take a look at our attack on the number one here by King Drog. Now, this really epitomizes how we generally attack in war and, and how effective it really can be. So, Drog is our number 14. He's a Town Hall 10, as you can see there by the level 40 queen. Uh, but he's an excellent, excellent hit-up artist. I mean, he's... Uh, in my opinion, if not the best, uh, you know, definitely on the short list. And as you can see there, he, he's really good with the queen walk, uses it very wisely to take out that side of the base. He brought the rages, did a really nice job, and in a moment here, he's going to come in from 3 o'clock and take the town hall. And I'll speed this up here. You really, you should get the point. Um, even though the queen goes down there, he's still got enough left to take out the town hall. The funnel is built, and there he charges right in for the two. This is really, really nice when you have town hall tens that can hit up like this because they keep the war weight low, and at the same time, with their hit ups, they can get the twos on town hall elevens and free up our town our town hall elevens to hit down and nuke for three. This is by Nick, and this is going to be, what is this, a Laloon? Some form of a Laloon. I looked at it before. Now, that little thing he did right there, where he dropped those four loons to take out that, that ar archer tower, had me scratching my head for a little bit. I guess it was because he wanted a place to lure the clan castle to, so that he could take, take it out with his uh, baby dragon here. I guess so. It seemed to work, so that's my best theory at this point. I'm still kind of thinking about that a bit. 
Um, but anyway, he got the clan, clan castle out here. Now, now you're going to see some really good technique where just, just the king and the queen come in. And with this, not only is he going to take out my archer queen, but he's also going to take out pretty much that whole side right there. Speed it up here a bit so you can see what happens. Queen's going to walk over. And in a moment, they're going to go head to head. And you'll see that he takes out my queen. And after the queen's dead, he comes in with a La Luna attack. Also took an air defense with his royals. Really, just really precise and nice work here. Thank you for the lesson, Nick. I'm I'm gonna try this one myself too. I've never I've never really had much faith in La Luna at Town Hall eleven. I used to use it all the time at Town Hall nine, but not so much at eleven. And so there he gets the three. I thought that was really, really excellent. Just a very instructive attack. Okay, so next we have an HGHB. This is by Mr. October on Bajacketer. I honestly thought this attack was dead. I used this attack a lot at Town Hall 9, but I haven't used it since Town Hall 9. I just didn't have any faith in it. And here we can see Mr. October charging through with an HB, H, HGHB. Wait a minute. Healer, Giant, Hog, Bowler. HGHB. And granted, this base, Bajacketer's base, does not have an Eagle Artillery. But still, I was pretty impressed with this, that HGHB could be used at Town Hall 11 to get the three. I mean, I know, again, you could argue uh, he doesn't have an EA, but, you know, it's good to have it in your bag. You know, if you encounter a situation where you, you have to attack a uh, uh, Town Hall 11 without a... Eagle Artillery, this might be a good option for you. So, Mr. October, very nice. Thanks for the lesson. Okay, so we're going to round out this review with a Town Hall 9 attack by our leader, Korg. He's going to hit with the Witch Slap here. He's going to line up his witches and wizards behind a couple of golems. If you watch closely here, he sends in some wall breakers to blast open that first layer of walls and then puts down a couple of well-placed jumps to allow those golems to penetrate to the center and soak up all the damage. And the witches will go along the outside uh, with the wizards and, and take out a lot of the side defenses. And it's just a little bit too much for this base. And Korg, I just want to say thanks for everything you do for the clan and all your leadership. He really... He really worked hard on this one. He had a whole war flow set up on Discord and and really planned everything out so nicely and was really just key to our success, not just in this war, but in general. So thanks, Korg, and, and thanks to everybody else in the clan who worked so hard to win this one. See you next time.